G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm pushing on with uh, making up another one of these handles for this little handheld uh, Miller's Falls vice. And in the last video you would have seen where I've uh, made up a new collar for the, for the old handle. Now I have to make up a new handle. This one screws in like so. Turned out pretty good really I think, not bad. And you can fit the same sort of handle in either side so that you can hold it like you'd hold a power drill for, for buffing, you know, so you've got good control. If you hold it with one hand it might catch and flick off the wire wheel. So another handle is definitely the go. So we're well on the way. Now this thread is BSF. BSF. And I could have turned up a complete shaft, but I didn't. I uh, for a, well for one reason that uh, I had a BSF bolt which is the right stuff and it was hardened so I fitted that to half inch Whitworth bolt and that's going to go down the, the centre of the replacement handle so I'll turn up a wooden handle be wood from the, this edge here right through and I'm going to do that on the Shoreblin I haven't done any wood turning for Oh, 40 years and what I did do was a basic fishing rod handle or something like that it wasn't much so I've got to turn up something like this so yeah so we'll basically get a block of wood drill it out to take a half inch thread Whitworth which is a good coarse thread suitable for wood and I'll just screw it in and uh, that'll come through good length give it plenty of strength and then I'll put a bit of glue on there and she'll never move. So what am I doing today? Well this is the the bolt for the new handle and if you look at the end of this you can see how it's got a flat uh, round load bearing surface that pulls up against the side of the of the hand vise. So I've got to make up something like that it's a bigger diameter than the half inch so basically what I did was I had a BSF nut to go with the BSF bolt and I machined it back to about a third of its depth recessed it as well Loctite it on with some 609 Loctite now if you ever use this stuff believe me it'll never come off again not without a lot of heat and uh, if you ever use this on long bolts don't put it the whole length because you'll never get the bolt done all the way out before it locks up. This is mighty vicious stuff. Uh, anyway, it's good for this sort of job, it's only short. But for the, the bolt that went up through the centre here, I tapped an 8 mil thread internally. I used some good old 262, which is good. You can get the bolts in and out, no problem. And they'll never move unless you, unless you heat them up. I use this on motorbike engine repairs for the uh, Allen header bolts. Good stuff. Okay, so now I've got to get rid of the the, the uh, spanner, you know, flats on it. Bring it back to that shape, which is uh, what? It, what is it? It is 14.25 diameter. So we've just got to bring, bring it back a bit, just basically take the, the crowns off. And to do that I'm going to use the little 775 DC motor powered uh, cross drilling and radial drilling setup I've made up and shown in previous videos. I'm going to use it as a TPG, tool paste grinder. I could do it with a Hilda as well I suppose, I've got a mount for that and I could even do it with the air micro die grinder, I've got a mount for that. And I could even do it with the, the wall down tool post grinder but yeah I like that little gadget I made up and it's a good opportunity to show you it can do more than just drill you can grind with it and do it all sorts cheap easy to make perfect for this the reason I'm not using uh, any sort of high-speed steel or cardboard tooling on it is I don't want to uh, 
put any load on the on the Loctite and uh, it's only a small bit of section of thread because it's also got a recess in there as well to fit over this thread so you can see it's only got about three threads internally so the Loctite's just got a hold of there so we'll just use the uh, the grinder and that will make a nice neat clean job no burrs and uh, yeah should be a piece of cake so I'll set it up and we'll get on with it we'll use the Chinese lathe for this because the uh, the little 775 powered uh, cross drill is set up for this it's made for this lathe I've got the collet chuck in we'll hold the bolt with a, a collet and on the thread once again is collets are fantastic for these sort of jobs and I'll just take off this put on the grinder put in the job put in a bit of newspaper good to go to do this I'm going to use a thin cutting disc you've only got to go down a bit and that's a fine fine disc I won't put much load on this at all I could use a heavier disc like that once again, this is a chuck, it's not a collet, so it will take any size that you want, up to uh, whatever the chuck's good for. And, uh, yeah, we won't use this, it's a bit coarse. We'll use this and it will do the job nicely. Looking at the lathe, you can see there's no mess whatsoever. That bit of newspaper just covered it all up. And, uh, you know, people that get paranoid about grinding on the lathe, I mean, they really want to get a life. If you cover up, do it properly, mess is controllable. And I will wipe down everything and oil it again, but really, it's, it's, it's minimal. OK, let's have a look at uh, the finished job. This will recess back into the timber. The timber goes right down to the end of the... Uh, the collar there. That's just a matter of turn up and another wooden handle, famous last words. And I'll do that on the Shorblin. I had no wood turning for 40 years and even then I had bugger all experience. So this would be a whole new game for me, a whole new thing. But still, that's what it's all about. It's all about learning. And uh, yeah, basically turn up some wood, and drill it, Tap it first for a heavy thread like this, this half inch Whitworth, and then mount it with a collet at one end and a, uh, a life centre at the other and just turn up the handle in situ. That way it will be centred and everything should be good. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. neat job can't complain so this is where you know tool post grinders can do these sort of jobs there was no burring on this whatsoever didn't no heat build up didn't get warm did a fa fantastic finish even though you probably won't see it and uh, yeah no load on the on the job whatsoever well basically nothing and uh, for these sort of jobs, grinding is the way to go. Okay, that's it from me. Stay tuned for the next stage of this where I do some wood turning. 
And uh, yeah, bye for now. Cheers.